Hello. Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. And today I'm going to take you along a little route here in Funchal to uh, kind of show you some of the places that you might be uh, looking into when you're living in Funchal, some of the places that you'll be interacting with uh, on a daily basis. And um, yeah, maybe talk a little bit about living in Funchal and how to make that uh, easier for you guys. So are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. For this video, I've decided to take you around Funchal in a completely different way. I'm going to show you some of the places that you might come into contact with when you're living in Funchal, certainly places that I spend a lot of my time in while I'm living in Funchal. Right off the bat, we've got the municipal square over here. Uh, this is the municipality where all sorts of uh, commercial projects are, are, are undergoing. So if you want to do a commercial project, you're going to be spending a lot of time there. Just behind it is the Loja de Municipio, I think it's called. Loja de Municipio. Andrea is constantly uh, correcting me. Anyway, that is where you, you pay a couple of your bills as well. Your water, for instance, uh, all these kinds of things. So there is that, there is the uh, court over there. This is the church, the, the famous uh, Jesuits church. Uh, what's it called? The uh, Igreja do Colegio. Um, there is also the Museum of Sacred Art over here and the uh, Museo Cafe over there, which you will see in one of our other videos uh, that we've already filmed. Great place to chill, to work, to eat, to drink, to, you know, socialize, to whatever. So right off the bat, we've got all of this stuff. Let's head this way through uh, Rua de Cajera another uh, very uh, epic road. Right, now we're on Rua de Cajera, one of the most iconic roads in Funchal. And right here on the left, we've got the Photography Museum, the Vicentage Museum. This is one of the best streets in Funchal when you're looking for places to eat, places to drink. There's loads of outdoor space and loads of really cool places. We're seeing one of the first ones here on the left is the Hamburgeria do Mercado, the hamburger joint. And um, if you're looking for a quick meal that you don't want McDonald's from, this is a great place for a nice wholesome burger and the sauces are pretty wicked as well. Remember it's February, so it's a pretty quiet month out here in uh, Funchal, but this place will get a little bit busier and a little bit livelier. Coming up to São Pedro, we've got this beautiful street leading up to the old church, which is centuries years old. I don't know how old, but centuries. <laughs> and on the right hand side, we've got one of my favorite places as well. This is the 3D Fun Art Museum. You can have a good couple of hours of entertainment inside here. On the top of the road, we've got the Natural History Museum, also just newly refurbished. I haven't been in here for a while, but there's loads of great things inside here. No shortage of quality barber shops in Madeira. Not sure if this is like an international trend, but there is fantastic barber shops all over Madeira. The old school, uh, one of my favorites. And this is leading right out to the Live V shopping center. The Live V shopping center is probably one of the most modern shopping centers in Funchal, if not the most modern. There is a hotel on the top and an absolutely epic uh, rooftop bar and coffee. If you want to show off with some friends, that's a great place to take them. It's not cheap, but it's got stunning views of the town. And of course, inside the shopping center, you've got all sorts of quality shops. You've got Vorten, where you can buy your TVs and your radios and all your electronic stuff. You've got your cell phone providers, another big supermarket at the bottom. So a really, really good place to check out. One of the busiest parts of the center of Funchal, right here on the left, we've got a bank and then we've got the Loja de Cidadão, the citizen's shop, so to speak. And inside here, you've got all of your citizen kind of services. So all of the passports and all that kind of uh, stuff when it comes to driver's license, passports. If you're still with us, congratulations. On the left, we've got the municipal gardens. A uh, nice place to chill out as well. There's this beautiful little pond which is sometimes is on today for some reason. 
uh, it was off. Maybe they're just saving water because it's February. Uh, the ducks are inside here. They're also a little bit crazy, so be careful with the ducks. And then on the right, of course, we've got the taxis. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of the taxi drivers of Madeira. The taxis are affordable and they will take you anywhere you need to go with a local. And of course, sometimes just some of the insights are well worth the fare. So do yourself a favor, take a local taxi. They will help you get from A to B affordably and um, quickly as well. No stress, no fuss. The Ritz Cafe, one of my favorite coffee shops. There's actually a fantastic story about this coffee shop. It's a real love story uh, about the guy who actually started the original Ritz coffee shop. A really nice place to chill out in the center. And then right next to it, we've got the Café de Teatro, uh, the theater coffee shop. Sometimes these guys do events at night, social events, and they've also um, got great uh, ice creams and great uh, drinks and things and right next to that of course we've got the theater next we've got marina shopping yet another shopping center in the middle of funchal this one is a little bit more neglected but inside you'll find a real gem there is the la carbonara restaurant italian restaurant which makes uh, some of my favorite pizza h m on your right and of course, beautiful little dome and the water is off as well, probably because it's February and they're saving money. Coming up into Park Santa Catarina, the Santa Catarina Park. This is a fantastic place to just chill out in Funchal. You can have a picnic, you can put out a blanket and just, you know, let the time kind of pass by. Really cool place, great views of Funchal as well. Lots of history inside here as well. And uh, if you don't know by now, Lisa, from free walking tours likes to stop here and explain this whole place so if you are coming into Funchal and you want to learn more about this place then check out Lisa's free walking tours I'll put her link in the description you know what I think it's time for us to take a break you ready let's do it interval so if I look like I'm a little bit exhausted it's because we actually filmed yet last week's video yesterday at two o'clock and uh, that's basically been We've been filming till now, so uh, we're not finished yet. So the two days, long days, we need our coffee. Coffee is a big deal in Madeira. Um, the Madeiran way of life is a lot slower. There's lots of coffee breaks throughout the days. Quick coffee, yeah, jump out, of, jump out of the office, get a coffee somewhere around the corner. I use my coffee stops to kind of plan the rest of my day. If I need a quick, a quick break to like, okay, what, what do I need to go to next or whatever, I'll take a, a quick coffee stop, have something to eat if I haven't eaten for a few hours. So uh, coffee is uh, religious here in Madeira. So quick little pro tip, if you want something important done fast, right, then go for 9 and 9 a.m., 9.30, first thing, go to their office and face to face until you get the thing done. Because if you send them an email, you know, they might only get back to you after coffee, uh, including myself. Uh, <laughs> but I'm trying to get better and I think I am getting better. So, yeah, we're going to have some coffee. We're going to refuel. Maybe we should put some time on the clock, like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Let's take 15 minutes off and enjoy our coffee. And then we're going to carry on our Funchal tour. Uh, so stick around and like and subscribe and all that beautiful stuff for YouTube because, uh, because we love you. This is, we're doing this for you, so yeah, go ahead, do that. Right, back to work. Let's get out of the coffee shop. Let's go down to the lower levels. Let's check out some of the action by the marina. Here it is, the promenade highway in Funchal when there's cruise liners in town. This is the, what I like to call the passenger highway coming in. And right on the right, we have the beer house. These guys over here, they make their own beer. And actually, it's quite an affordable place. It looks very touristic and kind of looks like a little bit of a tourist trap, but it's actually very nice. Great food, great beer. Make sure to check out the beer house. Bus number 27, as you can see, there are the local buses in Funchal, the yellow buses, not the tourist buses, but in fact, the local buses. There is the ticket station right here by the marina and you've got somebody there that can help you buy your tickets for the week, for the month, for the day. They are very, very affordable. If you've got the time to wait and to take a bus, go ahead and do it. In fact, I remember when I first moved to Madeira, I used to catch random buses just to take me to places uh, so that I could learn a little bit about Funchal. Right down at the bottom, we got the marina. 
and uh, you got all sorts. You got the catamaran guys down there, and you got all sorts of boat trips and things in the marina. If you're into boats, then you can check that out. There it is, Pizza Hut and McDonald's. So fear not, we have fast food as well in all the shopping centers in La Vie. We've got Burger King and we've got now newly KFC. So there is KFC, McDonald's, Burger King. We've even got drive through now in Funchal in the upper areas. So fear not. And over here, we've got one of the most important statues about the Madeirans all over the world. A lie, it's not the most important, but for me it is because I can reflect around this, the guy holding up the globe. This is about all the Madeirans all over the world. So they are celebrated in Funchal. Lots of statues everywhere, lots of monuments everywhere. And we're coming up to another one very shortly. And here we are, the new Madeira logo, now a permanent fixture on the Praça do Povo Square. It looks great, we love it. Make sure to check out the official inauguration that we did on our channel. Another iconic coffee shop, Verdinho, the green, green one. And right at the end there, we've got the Nelson Mandela Memorial. Uh, of course, a big South African Madeiran connection um, here in Funchal as well. And you can see that on our channel as well. This is the red car food truck. I love this place. And of course, they've got some of the best Venezuelan burgers. And here on the left, we've got the new Savoy Apartments. These are going to be five star, very super luxury apartments. Madeira is of course betting on the luxury market and there are some really exciting developments coming. Another nice little coffee shop here. This is Caix de Ribeira at the end of the pier. Great place as well for a coffee or an ice cream. And then here on the right, we've got another beach. Not my favorite beach to be honest, but it is a beach. And uh, there are beaches in Madeira. They are rock beaches, of course. And even in Funchal, you can find some beaches. So don't think you have to go far for a beach in Madeira. I wanted to emphasize this spot over here. This is the Almirant Geis parking lot uh, or the uh, electricity house parking lot. And I spend a lot of time here. This is my go-to parking lot. There is always parking spaces here. Maybe not after this video, but Usually there's always parking spaces in this, uh, in this parking lot. And we actually made a video about this last year about how to park in Funchal. So if you go back on the channel, all the videos we made last year, we did loads of videos. We did a video every week. And uh, we have, of course, loads of information there that you can still see how to drive in Madeira, how to park in Madeira, all that kind of stuff. So do check that out. Driving in Madeira as well, as you can see here in Funchal, we're doing everything. We don't need a car. So you don't really, really, really need a car in Madeira unless you're not living in the center kind of thing uh, because the bus system is great. There's taxis, there's even Ubers and Lyfts. Not Ubers, but Lyfts. Uh, not Lyfts, Bolts. Bolts. So I don't use that stuff. I'm a big fan of the taxi drivers, as you know. But yeah, the best parking spot in Funchal, especially if you have a big car, like a Jeep. Just next to the parking lot as well, we've got the outer city buses, the buses that go to the other parts of Madeira. Um, I think it's more to the east side of Madeira, but they're all out there next to the parking lot. And then you've got the cable car entrance as well. So if you wanna take a trip up to Monte, then you've got the cable car entrance right there, some more coffee shops. On the right, we've got the outdoor gym where we've got people working out and stuff in the morning as well. Very outdoor experience. We've got the brand new secondhand skate park. I say brand new secondhand because it's not really brand, brand new. It's been here for a while, but it is kind of brand new. And if you're a skateboarder, then it's like skateboarding heaven kind of thing for a small town. And now we're coming into the old town. There's a little garden just outside here on the old town and we're gonna take a break, I think. What do you think? Our local poncha, our local poison, I was supposed to say, <laughs> but indeed it is, uh, it is poncha. Um, where we are right now is a great place for an after work drink or a nighttime kind of social event. Uh, we are on the eastern side of Funchal and particularly in the old town. And the old town really comes alive after work and in the evening uh, with restaurants and bars and all these kinds of places. This particular place, bar number two, 
um, is actually one of my favorite places uh, to come for ponches and uh, caipirinhas. They also do great caipirinhas, Nikitas, uh, all sorts of uh, awesome uh, cocktails, uh, some of which are very local. And there is a much, much more that I'm not showing you guys of Funchal. I mean, this is just a small little piece and just trying to show you what's around uh, today, what we've been managing to film really quickly. Uh, but there are still loads of things to do in Funchal and places to go. Uh, you'll have a pretty good time exploring all of the little bars and coffees and restaurants um, and that kind of thing. So stick around over here. This is a good place to get to know Funchal before you come out here. And uh, very soon we're going to get into some tips, some moving tips, some living in Funchal tips. If you guys are interested in that kind of thing, stick around because we're going to get a little bit deeper into that. We're going to get back to the house, we're going to have some dinner and we're going to talk about these things. But for now, Andre, ching ching, and cheers to you guys. As we mentioned earlier, this is the old town and the famous Rua de Santa Maria is behind the bar number two. And over here, you're going to find all sorts of watering holes, poncha watering holes, and you're going to find little restaurants. Fantastic for both lunch and dinner. This place can get really vibely and a great place to come and spend the weekend or even a weeknight out with your loved one. Coming up on our right hand side, we've got the market, the Funchal market, the infamous Funchal market. It is very beautiful inside and you'll get lots of great uh, fruits and vegetables and a nice little trip around there, but be very wary of uh, the prices of some of our exotic fruit. Another famous shopping center in Funchal, Anadia Shopping on the right hand side here. Great big supermarket in the bottom floor and lots of specialty shops around the shopping mall as well. A Little bit more outdated than La Vie, but also a great place nonetheless. And this just goes straight into our high street, one of the high streets in Funchal, Rua Fernando Ornelas. Great place to come and spend a couple of hours as well. Loads of shopping um, stores. We've got sunglasses shops, we've got fabric shops. This little shop on our right is called Madre Jacintos. Great place for linen, for instance, uh, as well as all sorts of fabric. And just past that, you'll have other little places where you can sit down for a bolo de caco. On the top of the high street, we've got the Gelateria de Lorenzo one of the most delicious ice cream shops in Funchal. Just on the other side of the road, we've got Bazar do Povo, um, a kind of multi-purpose iconic store in Madeira where you can find all sorts of helpful little goodies, helpful little things. After you've done saving your money in Bazar do Povo, you can come across the street and give it all to the finances. Uh, if you don't know what finances is, man, you just need to grow up. <laughs> and we're pretty much back where we started. We're going to pop into the supermarket to get some supplies and we're going to get home. I come bearing gifts. Yeah. yeah. So as you guys can tell, this place is uh, quite central in the center of town. And right next door is a supermarket, which of course is always handy. So you don't need to drive anywhere. And uh, yeah, this place is called Casa Primavera. And I think that this Airbnb is actually um, perfect for somebody who wants to stay a little bit longer in Funchal, a scouting trip, you know, a place where you can come in and check it out. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. First, I wanna drop this off and take my jersey off because it's like middle of February, not even middle of February and it's Still crazy hot, which is awesome. That's Madeira life for you right there. Let's close the door and get ready for dinner. My fiance has got this new Italian boyfriend, this influencer boyfriend. And as you can see over there, she's making uh, la carbonara. Is it la carbonara? Mm -hmm. Spaghetti carbonara, which is actually fantastic. And this wanted to get me into the next point about life in Madeira. One of the best things that we have in Madeira is great internet. So we've got fiber optic cables everywhere in Funchal and we've got great Wi-Fi, great internet. So obviously this has been one of the reasons why a lot of the nomads and things have been flocking out to Madeira because remote work is fantastic. Another thing which is quite difficult here in Madeira is to find a place, a long-term place. 
So long-term rentals are really, really tough to find. And if you ask me, the best way to do it is to come out here and to stay in an Airbnb like this one for a couple of weeks, even a couple of months, or try a couple of Airbnbs so that you can see what the area is around before signing a long-term lease of you know, a year or two years or something. And then you find that maybe you don't like the humidity or you don't like the noise or you don't like this or you don't like that. Come out here first, stay in a temporary place that you can leave and then you can make all the connections that you need to uh, with real estate agents, with listings and whatever to find your right uh, long-term rental. That's my, my tip of the day. We're gonna make uh, some La Carbonara and we're gonna get into some more juicy details cost of living etc so uh stick around uh we're gonna show you some awesome food and then we're gonna talk about life in madeira let's go you gonna answer that <laughs> So the cost of living in Madeira is relatively low. This fabulous bottle of wine that we have here uh, only costs like three euros in the supermarket and it's a world-class wine. So cheap wine in Madeira, cheap wine in Portugal, that's why we love it. And uh, oh, Andra, I'll get to you next. So cost of living, I think if you're living in Funchal and you don't have a car and you're kind of like you know still hustling and you're young and you can still work um, you know without the luxuries in life then you can probably get by with the minimum wage uh, which is about 700 euros per person per month so if you're a couple at a thousand four hundred euros per month uh, you probably just just get by um, getting through Funchal if you're a little bit older if you got uh, more expenses if you're not quite uh, you know if you want something a little bit more comfortable then you're gonna pay a little bit more money so uh, you're gonna be looking for about 800 euros per month upwards for rental um, electricity is gonna be about hundred euros a month water is gonna be about 30 euros per month uh, groceries are gonna be about 200 euros per month your bus pass is about 40 euros per month anyway that's a long story so that's just to give you some kind of value. I hope you guys are really enjoying this video. We're gonna end off with our bombshell. Uh, so there's one last thing I need to tell you before we sign off. But first, we're gonna have dinner. And then we're gonna sign this video off. And I'm gonna let you know how you can move to Madeira in a way that makes sense. All right, so stick around. Just a couple more minutes, we're gonna have our dinner and we'll be right back with you, all right? Chichi? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta tell us who this Italian guy is. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's a secret? Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am so tired, all right? It's been two days of filming. We started filming yesterday, we finished today. I, like, I don't even know what to say to the camera anymore. So on that note, I'm gonna end this video and I wanted to give you one little last nugget uh, of value which I hope you can find and that is our new patreon account if you don't know what patreon is patreon is a social media platform that allows creators like ourselves to be supported by our fans uh, and in that way uh, you know we can help uh, create a more intimate connection so we've created a patreon account we are, we are accepting only 10 people of which one is already gone so there's only nine spaces left for anyone who wants to move to, to Madeira uh, you will have direct connection with us and you'll have somebody who can look after you and who can help you move here get everything ready somebody that you can chat with because I'm sure you can understand when you've got thousands of views on the YouTube channel, it's not like I've got millions of views, but I've got a couple of people who are sending me comments all the time. Who would you recommend as a builder? Like, where can I buy a car? And unfortunately, I can't help all of you. So I've chosen to take 10 people that I will help this year 
move to Madeira or you know build a project in Madeira or anything to that that kind of stature so if you are looking at something like that send me an email we'll sign up to our patreon and we'll make it happen for you I hope you guys enjoyed this video this was something completely different and totally out of the box for us I think 2022 has been one of those years that's been just like getting out of our comfort zones because the videos we've made this year even though they've been so few they've just been so crazy so I hope you guys have enjoyed it uh, hit the like and subscribe button and uh, watch one of these videos uh, that I have to do with living in Madeira hopefully and uh, I will see you next week Monday for another issue for another video uh, of the greatest vlog in the world the hit the road Madeira channel I'll see you guys next week have a great one I'm gonna I'm gonna go to sleep so see you later see you later oh. <laughs>